Today, we'll be learning about how to check the integrity of files by comparing checksums. This is a fairly simple process using Linux and a terminal. Let's start by launching a terminal. You can, of course, use whichever terminal that you're comfortable using. For my example today, I'll be using the Kali Linux ISO file so I can install Kali Linux on my computer since they have the hash available on their website. So I can check the file integrity. And just to show you the hash that I'm going to be comparing today, it is for the installer for Kali Linux. If I hit sum, it will show me the checksum, which is based on the SHA-256 checksum algorithm. And you can use this with whatever file that you have, as long as you have the hash available somewhere on the website that you're getting it from. That way you can check whether you have a valid file and that it's not corrupt or malicious. So back in the terminal, if I start typing in SHA and I press tab a few times, you'll notice that there are different checksum algorithms available for checking the hash of a file. So by default, we have SHA1, SHA224, 256, 384, and 512. So depending on which type of hash algorithm that was supplied to you, you can use any of these commands instead of the one I'm about to use because on the website it did state that it was a 256 sum algorithm. So I'm going to be using SHA256 sum and then put a space and then I'm going to locate the file on the system that I want to check the checksum for. So mine's located in downloads and it's called Kali Linux 2023. Of course, replace your file with whatever location it is currently in on the system. And then I'll put a pipe character in another space. And then I'll type in grep, which will help us compare things. Basically, it's going to help us compare whatever's output by this command to whatever was on the website. Going back to the website, I'm going to copy and paste this hash into my terminal. If I paste it in, I can press enter. And it might take a few moments while the hash is getting checked. Are you ready to start learning more about Linux? Check out my free Linux terms flashcards and download them today to start learning more about Linux. Link in the description below. And if we see something in red here, that means that grep successfully found a match for what we were looking for, meaning whatever was output by the SHA256 sum command actually matched what we were searching for, which is fantastic. It's truly that easy. So make sure to smash that like button and I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So that'd be great if you subscribe below to help the channel out. So in this example, we'll rerun the command because we also want to see it fail to make sure that it's working properly. So in order to make it fail, I'm going to change this A to an E instead at the very end of the hash. This means the hash should not match what was actually in the file. Throwing a red flag up that it's either corrupt, malicious, or just something went wrong. When downloading from the source, I'm going to press enter and give it a few moments here. And once the hash has been resolved and checked, you'll notice that there's no result, nothing in red like we had before. Therefore, something's wrong because what we downloaded does not match the hash of what we put in and expect from the website. Of course, that's because I changed the last character and that's simply how you check the integrity of a file here. Almost all Linux distributions come with these hash commands by default. So you can use different algorithms. Another one that's popular is SHA512. So if you wanted to use that same scenario, you do SHA512 sum and then put in the file that you want. So basically something like path to the file and then you pipe that over to grep and then put your checksum in. That is the general format. But another important one to check and that you might not know exists on Linux is the MD5, which is another very popular checksum or hash. I want to write out the options that you have on the system. So again, you have SHA1 sum, then you have SHA224 sum, you have SHA384 sum, a popular one, SHA, which we use, 256 sum, then another one, SHA512 sum, and finally, the MD5 sum, which I'll show you how to use right now. Everything is very similar to how to use it. Basically, you specify which type of algorithm you want, the file name, followed by the pipe, and then grep with the checksum behind. So for example, the MD5 sum, since that one's very popular, we're going to do that and then do downloads. I'm just going to do the same image. 
and just press enter because I don't have the MD5 for this image, but I wanna show you the generated hash that I get for the image and how it can be used in the same sense that we used before to take this hash, if it was MD5 given to us on the website and check it against the one that was generated locally. Comment below if you were able to use this successfully. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.